as a brand new agent in my first year I have made over 300,000 GCI and in this video I'm gonna give you guys a detailed breakdown on how many properties I sold and uh, how many of them are listings how many of them are buyer leads and how did I find this leads you know buyers and sellers to buy with me sell with me um, you know how, what's the average prices in Windsor Canada so all those details stay tuned Namaskar welcome back to my channel and this is Aditya Soma a real estate investor and realtor here in Windsor Ontario so um, as I mentioned I'm gonna give you guys a detailed breakdown of my sales experience in my first year as a brand new agent so first of all before sales actually I was working in IT a employee worked full-time for five years so no sales experience I quit my job on January 31st 2019 and then as soon as I quit my job I started on February 1st the real estate sales on 2019 so this is my second year pretty much in my very first year I made over 300,000 GCI which is like I haven't heard anyone did that I did some Google search before you know I started my career I saw you know how much people are making and I saw that like highest uh, um, made by like Brian Sellos uh, 120,000 in his first year and Jeff Weibo from London Ontario made 100,000 in his first year so I put a goal for myself you know what I'm gonna beat these two guys of course they are my great mentors I learned so much from them thanks you guys if you are watching this video for all this great content but you know I, I had a, a higher limitation for myself I, I said you know what why not why not uh, because I have all these resources that they already provided so with a goal of 160,000 I started my first year but surprisingly I surpassed that crazily so in Windsor the average sale price is 350,000 in 2019 so I was focusing on investments because uh, I had a couple of investment properties before I became a realtor so I said you know what instead of totally starting out something new let me focus on my niche which is investing I got a free coffee <laughs> because I'm a regular customer for Tim Hortons that's my favorite coffee every day I have like one coffee okay so where am I with my so I said you know instead of uh, figuring out something new let me start with a niche because I already understand the numbers I know the area I know the rents I know the market because I, I already own like four properties at that time so I started this journey average prices as investor I was selling like 250,000 because you know when I'm new everyone wants to buy cheaper properties and especially my first property was 102,000 so when I'm talking to potential buyers they are like Oh, get me the hundred thousand property so that's why the prices are very low so but again average price 200,000 250,000 that properties I was selling so total properties I sold in first year 55 properties 55 properties yes um, out of that 55 there are uh, 12 listings and rest are the buyers so I sold to the buyer most of them are investors some of them are first time home buyers and off of this like total 55 mm, sales when you're starting as a brand new agent most of the brokerages offer over 30% like they take they, they take 30% and give you 70% or some of them even take 40% and give you 60% but I was very speaky with my brokerage thank God I found EXP if you don't know much about EXP I made another video talking about you know how EXP is very very profitable for agents to join the brokerage so why I'm raising that point because every sale in in the first few sales they give me 80% and they take 20% so average property price I was selling was 200,000 in Windsor typical commission is 2.5% so 2.5% of 200,000 which is five thousand dollars so out of five thousand dollars 
EXP, our brokerage, takes 20%, which is $1,000. So my commission on that deal is 4,000. So EXP takes total for one year, 16,000 max. That's the cap on the first sale. So they got 1,000. So let's say I made the same 16 sales for $250,000. They take 16,000 and after that they stop taking commission on me so they only charge me like 200 dollars so that's one of the reason why my gci is pretty high and also i said over 300,000. i said that for a specific reason because just my gci that i received was over 300 um approximately 301 or two something but on top of that exp gave me stock options so they gave me stocks because I became an icon agent in my first year. So we'll forget all those for now. Let's focus on the, the, the content for this video. We'll talk about the stocks in the other video. That Just the stock alone was uh, the first year stock value that I have right now is over 50, 60,000 Canadian. So that's, I'm not including that in the 300,000, so just FYI. So going back to the point, out of this 55 sales, how, I was able to find all, all those leads, right? That's one of the biggest question I got from a lot of new agents. How can you find all these clients, right? So first of all, I really tapped into all my sphere of influence. So people whom I know already and who are in my social media, whom I've been like, you know, friends for a while. So out of the total sales, 40% of the sales came from my sphere of influence. My friends, my Facebook friends, my Instagram friends. Actually, I didn't have Instagram at that time. I started Instagram, uh, but Facebook, I had Facebook. A lot of people been following me. So I was going to a lot of networking events. So my first two sales are my uh, friend's friend and also another person whom I know at the networking event who know me as an investor. That's why as soon as I got my license, he started to work with me. So 40% of that business and 20% whoever bought properties from me started referring me because, you know, I take sales super seriously. When someone trusting me, you know, putting their heavy, solidly, you know, hard work money, I take that seriously. So when I'm looking for a property for you, I, I'd be like 100% transparent. If I like it, I'll tell you I like it. If, if there is any issues, I'll tell you uh, there is issues. So that's how I was able to generate referrals in starting from my first year so 40 percent sales from sphere of influence 20 percent are from referrals another 40 percent this is the major one that not many first time realtors like who are real estate agents new in the business doesn't tap into which is social media i started my youtube channel literally before i got my license started sharing so people started to get to know me uh, and I used to share that content and I used to share a lot of um, information on my personal Facebook. All the videos I made on YouTube, I used to share on my Facebook as well because I have, I don't have anyone on the YouTube initially. It, it, YouTube takes a lot of time to grow, but Facebook, you already have some already existing friends and WhatsApp, that's another big thing not many people look into. So I used to make these videos and informative videos post it on my Facebook, post it on my social WhatsApp status. And also I created my Instagram story in Instagram. So I used to post on Instagram. So all this combination gave me approximately 40% of the business in my first year. So I would recommend all these three platforms for any new agent. So just to summarize, if you're a brand new agent just starting out, or if you have been in the business for a while, but didn't had that much success just think of one simple thing if this guy who is an immigrant came to canada as a student no friends and family here no one to support if he can do it i can do it take that as a solid motivation and now put your first year goal has if i made 300,000 now you put it as 400,000 and let me know how are you doing with your sales and also just a open statement i'm looking for a solidly motivated energetic agent who is looking to join a team i have one opening position i'm looking for one so if you're the one been in the business for a while or for one year at least one year experience 
but you don't have that much success you love to work with someone who can help you grow then reach out to me you have my information in the dm we can schedule a call and answer your questions and also if you have any questions regarding brokerage you're looking to switch your brokerage you want to know what exp can offer to you reach out to me well we'll go from there and if this video is helpful for you do me a favor hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below that helps my channel to put it in front of more potential people who can get benefit out of it so see you in the next video have a wonderful day